Namaste all. Today we're going to be discussing about Bhagavan's Nitya Puja. And here are the list of items that you need before doing it. Uh, God's picture or Bhagavan's picture. Some arti. Pushpa. Matchsticks. Uh, some Madhuparkam, which is a mixture of honey and milk. Naividyam, Akshita, Deepam, a bell, Kumkum, sandalwood powder, uh, a cloth, and also you're going to be needing some Vastram, Yagnopavitam, Dupam, and Panchapatra. There are 16 upacharas in our Nitya Puja. And the first one is Dhyanam and Avahanam, which is welcoming Bhagavan into our house wholeheartedly. The second step is Asanam, which is offering Bhagavan a throne. And the third step is Padyam, which is after he sits in his throne, we're washing his feet. The fourth step is Adhyam. That means that you're offering scented water to Ganesha. The fifth step is Achamanyam. You're offering water to Ganesha so that he can do Achamanam. The sixth step is Madhuparkam. It's a mixture of milk and honey. So while doing Madhuparkam, you have to dip the flour into the mixture and then offer it to Ganesha's feet. The seventh step is Snanam. Now you're bathing Ganesha and you could either sprinkle water on him or do a proper abhishekam. The eighth and ninth steps are vastram and yagnopavitam. Now you're offering him some clothes and a jenjum. If you don't have that, you could just pour some akshatas on him. The ninth step is gandam. You're offering akshata, kumkum, and chandam to Ganesha. The eleventh step is pushpam. Now you're offering flowers and doing archana. The 12th and 13th steps are Dupam and Deepam. You're offering Dupam and Deepam to Bhagavan. The 14th step is Naivedyam. So whatever you're offering to Bhagavan is called Naivedyam. The 15th step is Karpuram. And we first, we light up the camphor. And then we ring a bell in front of Bhagavan. And the camphor purifies the air. The 16th step is Padakshana. And you have to do Namaskaram to Bhagavan. And you have to say Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Those are the Upacharas of Nitya Puja.